All right, Patty. This is my second attempt at this video, believe it or not. Uh, but yeah, all right. I'm, I'm gonna hit you with some knowledge right now on drums. You go to uh, instruments, drum rack, kit, and then really any one of these will do. There's a lot of cool presets, especially if you got that extended library thing working the suite. Um, I usually use one of the 707s, any one of them really. So I got this one, this one loaded. The 707 Egg House or whatever. And I'm in the clip view right now, this shit's all horizontal. By the way, when you're in clip view, if you arm the track with this little guy down here, you'll notice that the squares turn to circles when it's armed and that means you can click on any one of these to record a new clip and it will record at the beats per minute up here that you got so that's good if you're recording guitar or whatever and if you want to set that to guitar you'd have an audio channel and you'd go over here to this little guy and you hit input output which shows that on all the channels and then if you have your fire pod set up right you'd see that and here's you know your channels and all that that you have enabled but anyway back to drums so I got the channel going I got it armed up you can hear the sounds uh, if you go down a couple octaves if I get the sound going out of my speakers Uh, so all these things right here, the clips, you can see them playing. And over here in this little view, it just shows you the octaves that have sound. If I go down more octaves, you see me down here more. So really, those are all empty spaces for sounds. You can drag in samples. You can drag in other sounds. And, and if you drag out effects onto each individual sound, that's how you get effects on each individual sound. You don't have to put effects on the entire kit at once. You can get them on each individual, on the kick, on the snare, you know, rim, clap, whatever you want. And uh, I don't know, I like this kit, but I turned down that echo, that's default on it, and uh, the reverb, because if I'm going to do that, I'll add it later in the signal path with a separate effects unit or whatever. So I get it dry, and that's a good place to start. And then, uh, and then uh, if you want to get a clip rocking, you can either record it that other way or you can just double click into the shit. And then bam, you got all your sounds you can scroll through. You can drag this window up a little bit. And you see all your sounds. And then if you are in the right octave, I'm just hitting my keyboard, regular computer keyboard. You can see which sounds are wearing the deal. And you can just go through and start clicking the shit in. And if you want to expand it, uh, I just highlight the whole thing. I'll just uh, click at the beginning there, the mouse, and then I'll hold shift and go click at the end to highlight it. Hold up. And I'll just hit control D or you can go up to duplicate, edit, duplicate. But that'll duplicate it, the measure and then you can drag the shit back so it plays everything and then bam you can play that clip up there <laughs> pretty exciting stuff oh yeah and up top here is your master record if you have that going it'll record into the arrangement view which you can hit, get to by hitting tab or by clicking these two things up here and uh... this is over record or overdub so if you have this on while it's playing it'll still record that Uh, yeah, and this thing next to it, if you, if you have something going in the arrangement view and then you start playing clips again, this thing will turn on, this red dealy here, and, uh, if you click that, it'll return it to a, a normal state to where it'll play everything, how you have it in your arrangement session. Um, as soon as I start playing a clip again, that thing turns on. And as soon as I click that, it'll play the arrangement normally get if you've got one. Anyways, yeah, I'll try to send this to you. Bye.